This episode is powered by Safety FM. The following program is rated MALSV. It contains strong language, sexual situations, and violence. It is intended only for mature audiences. Finally, show with the balls and call it like it is. Rated R Safety Show on Safety FM. Countdown to audio torture. The Rated R Safety Show starts in three, two, one. Ah, let the eardrum pain begin. Forget the corporate bullshit. This is the Rated R Safety Show with your host, Dr. Uh, it doesn't matter who the host is. Hello and welcome to the all new Rated R Safety Show. Today is Friday, September the 13th. It is day 256 of the year and only 109 days remaining. So a couple different things right off the bat. Friday the 13th, so of course some people are freaking out. But for some other people today, 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 is iPhone 11 purchase day. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And it's okay if you woke up early this morning just to buy your little iPhone. It's okay. It's okay. I look at it and go, it's an exciting day for some people out there that are kind of nerdy. And I will tell you, I'm kind of nerdy. I have no problem buying new products. But, 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 I'm sure you don't care. If you're willing to spend, what, is it $1,100 on a phone? That's if you go with the pro model. But more power to you. Let me not go on to the iPhone tangent here for a moment. It's like every year they're hitting you up. More and more dough for the iPhone. And of course, I'm hitting, I'm hitting, I'm hitting the microphone with my headphones. How did that work? Anyways, so I keep on looking at Fridays and I look at Fridays every Friday. And I remember that I worked for a guy for a period of time, about five years or so. And he used to refer to Fridays as FOF. And I never understood what that meant. I played it off for a year or two before I asked the question. And I turned around and I asked him, what is FOF? And he goes, it's fuck off Friday. And I was like, what? And he turns around and tells me most people really don't work on Friday. So I just call it FOF or fuck off Friday. So what are you doing this Friday? Are you participating in FOF? Or are you really working? Just something to think about. Let me not drag on too long, and let's get you started with the news. This show is almost as enjoyable as hearing the sound of the toilet flush. Rated R Safety Show on Safety FM. More sarcasm than a Mortal Kombat beatdown. Rated R Safety Show. Here is the news on the Rated R Safety Show. So I won't talk anymore about, the, of course, the iPhone, because we already talked about it. But let's talk about some main things going out there in our little world in the United States of America. The federal government ran a deficit of $214.1 billion, with a B, dollars in August, bringing the shortfall for the physical year past one trillion with a T dollars. That is the worst financial picture since 2012. The federal debt is sits at $22.5 billion. That's up 13% since President Trump took over and Republicans have suddenly become totally disinterested in reigning in spending. Now, I have to tell you, I found that news story online, not necessarily one of those things that I agree with because I normally don't try to talk about political rants here on the Rated R Safety Show. But you already know that, because I tell you that any time politics come up during the conversation. I don't know why I'm so sensitive about that. Maybe I'm just a little bit too sensitive when it comes to politics. And I did get corrected a few days ago. I said during one of my conversations that we didn't look if we were Republicans or Democrats. And I didn't mention liberals. (laughs) And I did have some people contact me. In reference on how I did not mention that. So I apologize. I will be a little bit more sensitive on the fucking rated R safety show. 
So I don't know if anybody here is a big baseball fan, but this is some baseball news that's taking place. So let me bring reference to it right away. With two and a half weeks in regular season play for Major League Baseball, the organization has logged 6,106 home runs, breaking a 2017 record. The Orioles' Jonathan Villar, I believe the last name is, hit a record breaker right there. So right now, so far, 6,106 home runs. Isn't that pretty exciting? I will tell you, I personally don't give a shit about baseball, but that's me. It might be for you. I think it's the game of anticipation, and I just don't like sitting around and waiting. Let's continue. Did you hear about SpaceX? SpaceX has filed paperwork to test its Starship spacecraft. The ship would ascend to just about 14 miles above the surface, then return to its launch pad. Starship's ultimate goal is to be used as an interplanetary transport vehicle. So... (laughs) Isn't that interesting? Elon Musk keeps on pushing, pushing and pushing and pushing on what he's going to do with SpaceX. I'm still waiting for the day that we get the news that he's going directly to Mars with some people in it. Of course, I'm talking about. I keep on wondering if it's going to be like the passengers, the movie with Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt, you know, can never go bad with Jennifer Lawrence. (laughs) But, you know, I look at it and I go, what's going to happen there? How long is it going to be before you and I get to see that where people are actually going to Mars in a spaceship? It's going to be fun, 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 fun. Will you take the chance and the opportunity of doing so? But let's go back to Earth real quick and have some conversations about what's going on in Cuba. Cuba's facing widespread blackouts due to the lack of diesel fuel, according to AP. The government blames U.S. sanctions and says that the shortage will affect public transportation and energy production. The communists made the announcement after people started noticing longer lines and wait times than usual for public busing after the government mandate a cutback in services. Funny how even communists can't escape the principles of supply and demand. I think it's interesting on how that twist occurs. Supply and demand, my friends. So, hmm. Do you think a lot of things will start going solar power because of this? I keep on wondering. Talking about supply and demand, take a listen to this one. The U.S. ultimately shipped more barrels of oil than Saudi Arabia in the month of June, with almost 9 million barrels of crude and oil products shipped daily that month. It made the U.S. the biggest exporter in the world. Meanwhile, the Saudis, constrained by OPEC regulations and Russia was dealing with an interruption in their network. So there was really just a reason why it didn't happen, but that's the reason. The Sun reports that there is a new drug that will help chemotherapy patients that are battling cancer to keep their hair while undergoing the treatment. It uses an inhibitor to block the specific toxins in the chemotherapy to go after the hair follicles. It is currently under development and testing in Manchester, UK. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm personally a person who shaves my head, so I guess that's not important to me. But for people that are struggling and battling cancer, that's a good thing that you'll get to keep a full set of hair and losing any hair, period. Some bad news coming up. Listen to this. Meteorologists are monitoring a cluster of storms gathering near the Bahamas. It earned a tropical cyclone designation late Thursday afternoon. So keep on the lookout for that because that can get interesting. And they're already having problems finding some people there in the Bahamas, as we discussed yesterday. Some good news coming for retailer Old Navy. Old Navy will open 800 new stores. The retailer announced yesterday afternoon, that being Thursday. It's a surprising move for a brick and mortar store, which is in the process of being spun into its own company by parent company Gap. The transition of its own company is slated to be finalized next year. So I wonder why the Gap is deciding to ditch Old Navy. Because I know when I was younger, and that was a long time ago, I would actually buy stuff from Old Navy instead of Gap because it was a little bit cheaper. Nothing about nothing wrong with cheap, you know. Have to enjoy it. And I know every day I give you some information that's related to astronomers or space or something going on there. 
Here's another one for you. Astronomers are baffled by a black hole 250 million light years away, which appears to grow significantly brighter every nine hours. This is according to live science reports. There is no question that the black hole emit additional light when you're pulling the matter in. But the regulatory inconsistency of the flare-ups are leaving astronomers curious. One theory is that it's interacting with other black holes. And the regularity has something to do with the rate of rotation. I think that that is so interesting that that occurs in space. But think about that. 250 million light years away. Crazy, crazy. Beijing is expected to drop off the list of the world's most polluted cities. They're clocked their lowest levels in August in a report published yesterday. Levels of toxic chemicals known to damage lungs have been reduced by 20% year over year. I really hope that that's the case and no one's cooking the books. When anything is actually exact year over year, I get a little scared. Anywho, let's continue. Early in the week, I forgot to mention about the lottery to you. So let me give you the lottery that I did not talk about on Wednesday or on Tuesday. So no winner of Wednesday night's Powerball drawing. Saturday night's drawing will be for $60 million jackpot or $42.7 million cash payout. Also, no winner for Tuesday's night Mega Ball drawing. Tonight's drawing will be for $172 million, and that's the jackpot, or you can get a cash payout of $120.3 billion. Which one would you take? I like cash either way I can get it. <laughs> now let's get to the portion that I always talk about, and this is the days of the year. And I will tell you, this day is the day it seems like you can celebrate the most days. So let's go through it. Bald is beautiful day. I like the day already. Blame someone else day. Fortune cookie day. International chocolate day. Kids take over the kitchen day. National defy superstition day. International skeptics day. National Celalic Awareness Day, National Peanut Day, Positive Thinking Day, National Hug Your Boss Day, Snack a Pickle Day, Programmers Day, Uncle Sam's Day, Supernatural Day, Stand Up to Cancer Day. Holy shit, how many days was that that you can celebrate today? They need to make one of these things a national holiday. That way we don't get so confused on what the hell we should do. Anyways, I hope you do tend to enjoy your weekend coming up. Hopefully you're off Saturday and Sunday. Before I get to the end of this thing, I should mention to you, please make sure that you follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you haven't subscribed to the podcast, feel free on doing so on any of your favorite podcatchers. And of course, always share our information with anyone you can. I know how much people enjoy the Rated R Safety Show. And we still do have closet listeners. It's okay for you to like. It's okay for you to love. It's okay for you to share. We'll talk on Monday. I'll be waiting for you right here. You've been listening to the Rated R Safety Show. I know who you are. You know who I am. Love you. Mean it. Bye. Duh. Safety in a way never heard of before. The Rated R Safety Show on Safety FM. The views and opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the host and its guest and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the company. Examples of analysis discussed within this podcast are only examples. They should not be utilized in the real world as the only solution available as they are based only on very limited and dated open source information. Assumptions made within this analysis are not reflective of the position of the company. No part of this podcast may be reproduced, stored in a retrieval system, or transmitted in any any form or by any means, mechanical, electronic, recording, or otherwise, without prior written permission of the creator of the podcast, Jay Allen. This episode has been powered by Safety FM.